I first met Margaret when I was a wee tyke of 16. <laughs> we met at summer camp. Um, and from the moment I laid eyes on her, I could tell that this was something of an exotic creature, different from the other people there. She was, um, they called her Peggy Nature because she was in charge of a little nature hut in a bog. And she, the first time I met her, I remember she was wearing one of those little, uh, uh, is it Jane Goodall, the uh, Born Free? Yeah, she had one of those little kerchiefs and sensible uh, shorts and rubber boots. And she was like almost up to her, uh, the top of her boots in mud. And she was, um, she had a, a group of, oh, this, I'm, I'm remembering this now as it's all coming together from different times. But I do remember uh, her having a little, a group of little campers at her feet, and she had some toads and frogs and snakes and whatever there were in little jars, and she motioned me over like this. I was running the arts and crafts, or the assistant to the arts and crafts, and she said, Charlie, I need you. So I came over, and she says, I need you to stroke this toad to prove to the kids that you won't get warts. So that was how we first met. As much as I was fascinated by her as a young teenager, I was even more fascinated by her exquisite use of the language and poetry. It just, it was like triggers for me. It didn't matter what, she'd come up with a line and it just triggered my imagination. I thought it was clear as a bell, it was accessible, it was haunting. And uh, it just fit in perfectly to what I had decided to do my master's degree on and the uh, problems involved in illustrating poems. It was words and music. It was this, this marriage of two uh, disciplines, the visual and the verbal. And for two years, all I did was uh, illustrate her poems. Uh, I just found it to be such a catalyst. And she was um, like amused to me. Part of me just wanted to represent her strength, her fragility, uh, the poignancy of her brain, her mind. I was in love with so many aspects of her that I just wanted the portrait to encapsulate all of that. And the whole thing about portraiture, is I, maybe you know, especially in the technique that I was using, I was working with pencil and pastel and acrylic on canvas. It's, a, uh, it's almost like the difference between a minuet and a symphony orchestra or a trio. The, 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 um, the simpler the image, the more difficult it often is. When do you stop? When have you gone too far? With oil paint, you can paint over. This particular image is like a moment of being.